In this video, we're going to look at calculating work when we have a varying force by looking at small intervals. So, first off, what's happening is we have a bucket being raised to the top of a well that's 50 feet. And when the height is zero, the bucket weighs 20 pounds. When the height is 50 feet, the bucket weighs 12 pounds. So it's losing weight. That could be because the rope is getting piled up over here. Maybe the rope has some weight or the bucket could be losing, losing weight. Um, leaking. So for some reason it's losing weight. So we'll assume that it's losing weight at a constant rate which allows us to model this with a linear function. So doing our change in output over our change in input we get negative 8 fiftieths or negative 4 twenty fifths. So our B of H is negative 4 twenty fifths H plus, we have our y-intercept right here, plus 20. One thing I want to point out about this is this is a force because it's in pounds. We don't have to multiply by gravity or anything like that if all we had was a mass. Now, what we're going to do next, though, is look at computing a particular value of b, so say b of 5, times some change in height. So maybe there's our delta h. We move it up just a little bit. And let's let delta H be 2 feet. Well, B of 5 is going to be negative 4 25ths times 5 plus 20. And let's let delta H equal 2. We'll move it up just 2 feet. Calculating this is 38.4. Now, let's think about what the units are. We did a force in pounds here times a distance in feet. So a force times a distance. So this gives us 38.4 foot-pounds of work. So what that tells us is if the force is stays constant from 5 feet to 7 feet, so we're moving this from 5 feet high to 7 feet high, if it were to stay constant with the value that it was at 5 feet, the work to move at those 2 feet would be 38.4 foot-pounds. Now, this is going to be an overestimate of the actual the reason being is that our force is decreasing. So our force at 5 feet is higher than our force at 6 feet, and it's higher than our force at 7 feet. But we went ahead and used the force at 5 feet for the whole thing. So this is going to be an overestimate of how much work it takes to move from 5 to 7 feet. We can do it on a smaller interval, because what that will do is that will give us a better estimate. So we're going to do B of 22 times a delta H, and this time we'll use a delta H of 0.25. So we have negative 4 over 25 times 22 plus 20 times 0.25. So we're only moving it a quarter of a foot this time. If you calculate that, you get 4.12 foot-pounds of work to move our system from 22 feet to 22 and a quarter feet. Again, this is going to be a slight overestimate. But what you should see we're getting is as delta H gets smaller, we're getting a better estimate of the work. And what we're actually doing is we're looking at the ith slice. So the work on the ith slice is the force on the ith slice times the distance we're moving the ith slice. And what we know from our past work is this means the work is going to be the definite integral of B of H dH integrated over all the possible heights. Well, the height can go from 0 up to 50, so those are going to be our limits. So let's calculate this real quick and get the total work. So 0 to 50 of negative 4 over 25H plus 5dH. So antiderivative here, this is h squared over 2. Well, I'm going to cancel all of that out here. So I'm going to write that as negative 2 over 25 h squared plus 5h from 0 to 50. Now, plugging in 0 is just going to make this whole thing 0. So we really only have to plug in the 50 to get our, our value for the work. So minus 2 over 25 times 50 squared plus 5 times 50 equals 800. And again, units are the same as for our estimates, foot-pounds for this particular system. So that's 
the work that it will take to move this bucket and rope from the bottom of the well up 50 feet to the top.